All right, Brandy, here we are at Lake Parker to train for the next Survivor show. I'm so excited. Sonny, where's our cabin? What do you mean, where's our cabin? We have to survive in the wild, hunt for our own food, make our own shelter. Survive in the wild? What you talking about, Sonny? I'm talking about trying out for the next Survivor show. We've got to be ready. Oh, I'm ready. I brought all the essentials. You can't bring all that stuff. You're only allowed one comfort item. But I already brought my flat hern, my moisturizer. We'll talk my, more about this after today's sponsors. My hairbrush. I have to get this whole box down to one little item. That's right. That's so unfair. What did you bring? This? <laughs> An umbrella? That's ridiculous. You totally wasted your item. I disagree with you. I can use it as shelter or I can use it to poke stuff. Okay, then what should I bring? I think we just need some much needed tips. From who? A real Survivor contestant. Where are we going to get one of those? Danielle Gallopo with today's top story. What are you doing to that squirrel? <sighs> I stole these. <laughs> but now I'm kind of thirsty. Where's my water bottle? You have to get water from nature. Duh. Like this. <gasps> I caught a fish too. Lunch is served. Aren't you going to share some of that? <laughs> uh, no. Maybe you should just give up now and have lunch at the Shrek Bite Cafe. Thanks, Sebastian, for all that great information. You know, Sonny, I don't think I'm really cut out for Survivor. Maybe I'd do better on another reality show. You might be right. You probably will do better <laughs> on another reality show. Maybe Amanda can give you some ideas in today's Hot Topic. I give up, Sonny. You try out for Survivor on your own. I'm sending a letter to Tyra Banks to see if I can get on America's Next Top Model. But Brandy, Tribal Council's coming up soon and you'll miss it. Fine, I'll stay for that, but after that, I'm out of here. See you back at school, LG. I'm Sonny. And I'm Brandy. Stay, stay tuned, tuned for, for Channel, Channel 1 News. I can't believe it! The last one! The Lake Gibson Middle School Barbie! 50th anniversary! And it's all mine! Hands off! I saw her first! I touched her first! My mom eats kids like you for breakfast! So you had to bring your mom into this? You can't fight your own battles? Oh no you didn't! Yes I did! Oh, well we're battling this out. Let's go see today's special report on Barbies and their 50th anniversary. I will throw down for this box. This is my Barbie because I touched it! You know what? You can have the Barbie. I just want the box. Hi LG, I'm Sonny. Brandy's in the kitchen cooking up some waffles for breakfast. I'll be right there Sonny. Just let me get your waffles. While she gets my waffles, let's go to sponsors. And Chop Chop, I'm hungry here! Here you go, Sonny. Eat up. What happened to my waffles? See, I really had to go to the bathroom, so they kind of caught on fire. But it's okay, because a real hero came to visit us, a fireman, and he was able to put it out. Whatever. Let's go to lunch. I hope they didn't have any mishaps like this in their kitchen. Oh, Sonny, I almost forgot. He was so nice, he even left you a pretty bill. I am so not paying this. It's okay, your mom just paid the bill. Now that that's settled, why don't you tell me more about these fire people? Firemen put out burning buildings, but contrary to belief, they do not rescue cats from trees. Trust me, I've tried. So does that mean that a policeman or a U.S. soldier could be a hero since firemen are? Absolutely, but here to tell you more is Emily Richard with today's top story. I didn't know that policemen and firemen were heroes. Whenever I think heroes, I think Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman. Sonny, that's all good and dandy, but since they're fictional characters, they aren't even real heroes. Well, that's a huge downer. Is there any more happier information that you can give me? Yes, let's go to Julia Falali with today's 4 and one I have learned so much today. Like what? Wonder Woman and Superman are fictional characters, meaning that they aren't real. Policemen, firemen, and teachers are the real heroes. And firemen won't save your cat if it's stuck in a tree. You know what? You are such a great teacher. I know, right? Maybe I should be your hero, Sonny. Yeah, no. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm Sonny. And I'm Brandy. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Tree. Flower. Are you sure that the LG students won't find this just a little weird. No, we'll be introducing them to a new and interesting art form. It's definitely going to be interesting, isn't it? Squirrel, climbing up a tree. Come on, Sonny. We have to practice. The auditions are held the week of the 23rd. Okay. Wait. 
You're gonna pick up the packets, right? Uh, yeah. When are they available? February 27th, and they're due March 20th. Oh, yeah, yeah. When's the talent show? May 14th. You should know these things. Let's just finish practicing. Sun, rain, ballerina, gymnast. Oh. Hey, sharks. I'm Brandy. And I'm Sonny. Brandy, I've got a really cool magic trick that I can show you. It'll take us to sponsors. Really? Show me. Oh, that was such a cool trick, Sonny. Can you show me how you did it? A good magician never tells their secrets. I know someone who would tell me some secrets. Who? Emily Richard in today's top story. Boy, I'm getting really hungry. Buddhist, Hades, Apiris! Aren't you gonna share? Um, no. Fine, I'll just go to the Shark Bite Cafe. I've got you now, Sonny. I'm learning a lot of things about magic. You're going to need to study a lot to get up to my level. Haha, <laughs> very funny, but I'll have plenty of time to study during today's 4 on 1. During the 4 on 1, I was practicing my magic tricks. Can I try one on you? Yeah, this will take a while. Magicus Funniest Puferis. Wow, I actually did it. Ah, oh, tell me the secret to turn me back. A good magician never tells their secrets. This is so embarrassing. I'm Sonny. And I'm Brandy. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. I like you so much better this way. What's the answer number four? I'm not allowed to help you. But I'm your best friend. I don't care. I'm not going to get in trouble for you. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to fail math class. Do you work out? Work out? What does that have to do with anything? Don't you know that fit teens equals smarter teens? But I hate to work out. It is so boring. You want fun? Check this out. Where are we? Hold that thought. I'll tell you after today's sponsors. From math to here, this place is amazing. Where are we? We're at Pump It Up, the inflatable party zone. But it's not my birthday. I know that, but you said that working out bores you. Mm -hmm. So here at Pump It Up, you can jump, bounce, and get a great workout. Sign me up, but first, let's go down the slide. Great idea. We'll get a great cardio workout climbing up all those stairs. Are you sure that getting fit will help me with my grains? Definitely, but for more information, let's go to TSC reporter Danielle Gallipo with today's top story. Thanks, Danielle, for that formative story. Are you motivated to get fit now, Sonny? Absolutely, but I wonder what other students at our school do to keep in shape. I'm sure Amanda has all the answers for you in today's Hot Topic. Brandy, shouldn't we be popping back into school soon? There's a lot going on this time of year. Relax, we've got plenty of time. What if I miss an important announcement or something? Would it make you feel better if we went to see Danielle Webb in today's 4-on-1? 100% better, let's go. I think it's time we get back to school now. Work your magic, Brandy. Okay. It's, it's not working. What are we supposed to do now? It's a nice day for a walk. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm taking the bus. See you back at school, LG. I'm Sonny. And I'm Brandy. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. I can't believe you can't snap. Why can't you just... What's up, LG? Welcome to Shark Zone. I'm Brandy. And I'm Sonny. Uh, my stomach. I forgot to eat breakfast and I'm starving. Well, since you forgot to eat breakfast again, let's go outside and pick some nice, juicy snails. The French do it all the time. Ew, gross. Do they seriously do that? Sonny, would I lie to you? Okay, maybe I would, but I would never lie about today's sponsors. Wow, other countries sure do have some interesting appetites. Since you don't like escargot, we could always go to Indonesia and pick up some nice hot monkey toes. What? That's gross. Are there any other weird foods that I need to know about? What happens whenever they run out of the monkey's toes? They use the monkey's brain, silly. I think I'm going to be set. Oh my, Sonny, you have got to stop overreacting. Let's just go to today's top story. I think I might just want to try some escargot. What made you change your mind? I thought you said you hated snails. I did some research and it turns out that they're not just snails. They're salted, buttered, and steamy. Oh, I'm starving again. Remember, I never got to eat breakfast. Then one stop at the Shark Bite Cafe should take care of that. I'm stuffed with lunch and the information about Indonesian monkey toes. Well, you're going to have to make more room for information. We're going to have to go to today's 4 on 1. My head is stuffed with food information and school information. My stomach is stuffed with food and I can't take this anymore! Okay, well, that was Sonny and I'm Brandy. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. I'm Brandy. And I'm Sonny. You're watching The Twilight Zone. Today's show was sponsored by... I absolutely love this book. Uh, what book? Twilight, duh. 
Uh, I haven't read it. It looks really boring and it's pretty thick. Sonny, it sold more books than Harry Potter. Before you clog my head with all this Twilight info, can we please go see today's 411? Is the author of the Twilight series going to come out with a movie based on the books? Yes, she's consulting on the movie right now and it's set to come out November 21st. Is there any websites that I can learn about the author or the movie? Yes, if you go to www.stephaniemeyer.com or www.twilightthemovie.com, you can find out more information. Is there any more information you can give me? No, but Emily can give you more in today's top story. Wow, the Twilight books sound really interesting. I think I'm going to read the entire series. Wait, how many books are in the series anyway? Four, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and her newest book, Breaking Dawn. Hey, didn't we make a music video based on the books? Yeah, let's go check it out after today's lunch. Uh, Sonny, you already started reading the books? Yeah, now I'm hooked! Well, I'm gonna let you keep reading. I'm Brandy, and she's Sonny. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Hey, Lee Gibson, I'm Sonny. And I'm Brandy. Polk County Ming seems small and boring. But actually, it's home to historic sites, festivals, and tons of activities. For example, starting December 19th through the 28th, ice skating will be open at the Lakeland Civic Center. You can visit www.lakelandcenter.com for more information. But before we see what else there is to do around Polk County, we should see who made this show possible. The South is known for its great barbecue, and the best event Polk County has to offer is the Lakeland Pick Fest. With varieties of barbecue and generating over $100,000 in contributions to charitable organizations, it has become extremely popular. The attendance alone in 2006 was over 30,000 people. This event will be held on January 30th from 5 to 11 p.m. And January 31st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now that we know all about the barbecue, we should go to see what's going on around our school in today's 411. Hey, Brandy, do you know what place I'm thinking of? It's tall, it's beautiful, and it's located in Lake Wales. Okay, so tall, beautiful, and located in Lake Wales. The Bok Tower? Yes, it's open every day of the year and is open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Tickets only cost $10 for an adult, and for children 5 to 12, $3. People not only go there for the atmosphere, but they also go to learn at the Bok Tower campus. For more information on the places that we've talked about today, let's go to Emily Richard with today's top story. Another place to go is the Cobb Theater, right here in Lakeland. You can just sit back, relax, enjoy some popcorn and a movie. The Cobb provides stadium seating with custom designed seats. We are so lucky to live in Polk County. There are so many things to do. Did you know that one of our teachers was actually born and raised here in Polk County? We can learn more in today's teacher feature. So we've learned that Polk County isn't as small as you might have thought. So go visit some of the places we've talked about today and enjoy yourself. Don't forget, stay tuned for Channel 1 News. Hey LG, I'm Sonny. And I'm Brandy. What are you doing? I'm looking through this year's fundraiser catalog. That's a lot of stuff. OMG, will you give me that please? No. This one for Christmas? Uh, no. How about this one for Hanukkah? I guess that's no. Yeah. <laughs> well, God. since Brandy's just ignoring all of us, let's go to today's sponsors. Whoa, I'm gonna sell 80 items and get an iPod shuffle. No, I'm only gonna sell 15 and get nose putty. Okay, Whoa. Sonny, stop. Nose putty, gross. You could just get chocolate. Wonderful, delicious chocolate. Maybe we should go to Coach Greg for more information about the fundraiser. Sonny, have you ever heard of a pecan lock? Yeah, matter of fact, I did. It's right here in my lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> okay, while well, she's looking through her lunchbox with her pecan log, we'll go to lunch. Hey, Sonny, look, my hamster. His name is Fred. He's going to be racing at the fundraiser tailgate party. <laughs> you killed Fred! That's Fred. it for today's show. I'm Sonny. Stay tuned for Channel 1 News.